All right, wonderful. Uh, wonderful, guys. And like I said, um, in speaking, oh no, I, I now I'm talking about speaking all of a sudden. Uh, in reading passage three, um, you usually have multiple choice, yes, no, not given in summary completion, but every now and then you might have matching sentence ending questions. Although it's a matching question, these come in order. What, what it means, the, you'll find them in the same order they are given in the text, the information provided. Oh, interesting. We have multiple choice. Yes, no, not given. And like I said, there are only two questions you need to be kind of watching an eye on, like you're watch, keeping, an eye, keeping a watchful eye on. That's the phrase, right? So these two questions are which paragraph contains the following information and matching names because uh, Every time you finish a paragraph, you need to look at them. Various with these, reading the first of each question type, usually keeping an eye on the, the first of each question type is enough. So let's get started. The bug picture. Uh, this woman gives her view on insects. So we're going to read a text about uh, the, we're going to read a text about insects, guys, insects. So you need to be prepared. So I'm reading a text about insects. Wow. Let's go. Uh, and then you identify what you know about each type of question. So we have three types of questions that follow order. All of them follow order. Yes, no, not given. All right, let's go. Early guesses probably greatly overestimated, greatly overestimated uh, the total number of species on, on Earth. Okay, I, it's really annoying. Um, the primates play a significant role in our ecology. All right, I think that's uh, primates, and we also talk about primates. And we still have a great deal to learn about the importance of pollination. I think the key word is pollination. Okay. We have a great deal to learn or not. Some people may be unaware, unaware that the world's insects consume more food than other mammals. It will take us... Uh, can you make big... Yes, what about now, guys? Can you see the questions? It will take a long time for us to learn the effects of habitat loss and extensive pesticide. Uh, all right. I think you guys do the same thing, right? You very quickly write, you choose one word you cannot miss in every question, right? Scientists have recently revised their reviews regarding, okay, they have, uh, what I do with these matching sentence ending questions, guys, I don't read these options because it's a waste of time. I don't do I don't do that with uh, multiple choice. I also don't read the options with multiple choice questions and matching sentence endings. Um, it's already bigger. It's already big, bigger. It cannot be bigger than this. Uh, there's absolutely no doubt. There's absolutely no doubt. Almost every study so far. Almost every study done so far. All right. Almost every study. That's a key word. Um, then a lot of research on insect groups, a lot of research on insect groups, the rate at which tropical forests are being lost uh, can help us calculate something. And then I move on to the next question. In the third paragraph, when you're doing it on paper, guys, go to paragraph number three and write 37. Uh, the writer refers to a particular slide to emphasize. And then why do, does, what does they mean in the third paragraph, all right? What does the writer imply about big science in the final paragraph? Go down and then look at the final paragraph. What point does the writer make about overall about insects, guys? This last question is called global understanding. It's called global understanding. All right. Um, when when we do we do this question at the end. All right. If we after we've done everything else, let's go again. I am reading each question and I'm I know when to look at them. For example, I look at question number 37 when they when I come to 30, you know, third paragraph. I look at question number 36 when they talk about tropical forest. So I have chosen that, but I'm trying to do all at the same time. That's why I'm keeping an eye on the first of each question type. So, how many other species do we share? Do we share our planet with? The truth is, scientists don't even have the slightest idea. They don't know. The truth is, they don't know. Some early guesses of 30 million over 100 million 
uh, you know, at the beginning, uh, have been there were even 100 million, some people said. In the last few years, have with have been replaced with more reliable ones between five to 10 million uh, species. Do I have an answer? Because I have something about early guesses. What's the answer? Guys, what's the answer? The answer is yes, because early guesses, they greatly overestimated because early guesses that there are 100 million species, but now they're saying, no, there are five to 10 million. So the answer is going to be yes. Uh, but despite this massive uncertainty, uh, there's one thing that's undisputable. Okay, there's one thing that's undisputable. Um, the vast majority of Earth, look at Lucy, you see, there is the word undisputable. That means I'm doing question number 33. That means I missed question number 32. I need to look at the 32. I'm going to do that. The one thing undisputable, the vast majority of Earth uh, inhabitants are invertebrate, meaning without a backbone. Okay, most of the species are without backbone. And most of these species are insects. All right, so we have two of them. So 32, scientists have recently revised their views regarding A, fall in the total number in their variety of insects? No, they have recently revised how many species there are. The number of plants that are pollinated, they did not revise their views. Revise your views means change your views. Um, all right, what else? Next one. They've recently revised how many different animal species are currently in existence? I like that. I like that a lot, right? Because they recently said, no, there are not 100 million species that are what? Uh, that are five to 10. So the answer is going to be C, right? The next one. Um, Again, there is also no dispute. Undisputable means no debate. You know, you have watched UFC, undisputable champion, undisputed champion. No one has a doubt about it. Uh, the vast majority of Earth inhabitants are without backbone. Most of them are insects. Uh, there's absolutely no doubt about uh, the predominance of vertebrae among the Earth. Predominance, if a species is a predominant one, it means, um, okay, some people are asking for permission to record. I think I am recording, right? It says you are currently recording. Don't worry, I'm gonna upload and make things easier for everyone. So you don't have to keep asking and it, it keeps popping up the, the, you know, the page keeps popping up. Somebody is asking for permission to record. I am recording it already. Uh, so the answer is 30, uh, 33 is going to be what? E. All right. So again, why am I not worried about question number 37? Why am I not worried about question number 37? Guys, why am I not worried about question number 37? Because it was, uh... Well, because, because it said it's going to come in third paragraph. Uh, sir, correct. Paragraph, I mean. Yes, it's in the third paragraph. Again, it's better if you answer in the chat box. It's better if you... It's no, somebody said because it starts after 36. That's not true. It doesn't start after 36. That's not true. All right. It's therefore not very surprising that these creatures have a pre preeminent impact on the function of global systems. The insects have a functioning, you know, what preeminent impact on the function of global ecosystems. Um, I'm going to continue. Um, and then creatures like us, okay, creatures like us, I don't just mean primates such as apes and monkeys, but all vertebrates make up less than 3% of all species. Incl we only make up 3% of all species, it turns out, all right? Uh, interesting. Yes, user is right. Somebody has been playing with the board. I have been, I've been cleaning it and you've been playing with it. Some of you guys are behaving really strangely today. Um, yet it is these very animals that most people hold dear. Ah, these animals, these very animals means these exact animals, meaning primates, we hold them dear. Do you guys know the expression, if you hold dear? What does it mean? If you hold somebody dear? Not in that sense, you know, I'm not saying, you know, in the exact sense of war physically. If you hold somebody dear, you like, you, you, you think they are close to you, you respect them, you appreciate them, right? Uh, Sivinch, Sivinch, I think there is a, you you unknowingly you are touching on the screen please can you take your hands off of it uh especially the those with a passing resemblance to ourselves i use a slide in my lectures which has images of all sorts of 
of insects along on the face on image of female, it's a white eyed fully primate. So he used a slide with all sorts of images with a baby on its back. Aha. Uh -huh. No prizes for guessing the first, probably the only things audience look at. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the only thing they, they have. He has many pictures of insects, but when he has a picture of a primate with a baby on its back, everyone looks at that. It seems we cannot help ourselves. We cannot help ourselves. Appealing they may be, but in the grand ecological scheme of things, they are fairly useless. He's saying that primates are completely useless. All right. He's saying primates are useless. Here it says primates play a significant role in our ecology of planets. So that means for 3028, guys, 28 is going to be no, exactly. 28 is going to be no. Uh, now, what about question? No, do I have anything else? If you really want to understand the world around you, you need to take a serious look. You need to take a serious look. Um, you need to take a serious look at insects. Okay, if I want to understand the world, I need to look at insects. Pollination, the process by which flying insects transfer gains of pollen, right? They take the pollen from one planet to another. So A, their repro reproduction. Um, can you unmute? All right, thank you. Um, is perhaps one of the most essential partnerships ever to have evolved. Pollination between an insect and a and a plant, that's one of the most important you know, partnerships. This plant insect, this plant insect version of I will scratch your back. And if you scratch mine, everybody knows this phrase, I will scratch your back, meaning I'll help you if you help me, right? Uh, it has been around for a hundred million years and it has given the world a rich diversity, not just of flowering plants, 20,000th of species of bee are responsible for the continued survival of, which include a very long list of fruit and vegetables from pumpkins to everything. All right. Do we have a, a great deal to learn about the importance of pollination? Oh, did we learn everything? What does the text say about pollination? Did we learn everything we have to know about pollination, guys? Did we learn everything about pollination? Do we have a great deal to learn about So the answer is not given, right? The answer is not given. Um, so Munisa, do you have any issues today? Like you say, what's the problem here? Munisa Otajanova, what kind of problem do you have? You can speak, you can use your mic. You can unmute and speak. Munisa. Uh, hello, teacher. I mean, you are so uh, out of sim, tired, or exhausted, something. I'm I'm just fine. I'm just fine. Yeah, it seems like that to me. All right. No. Okay. I'm writing it, but I um suddenly pressed enter. Okay. 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 So, guys, we we are also reading the third paragraph. You remember, right? Uh, that's actually paragraph number. Oh, we missed an answer. We didn't look. Uh, no, no, Javdat, you don't have to write anything like that. Javdat. Uh, so just be respectful to each other. That's it. Um, so uh, in the third paragraph, writer, okay, we actually missed two answers. Oh, God, uh, here. Um, it said, yet it's very, like in the third paragraph, writer refers to a particular slide. You remember? Um, there's no guessing for the first one, but everyone looks at the one that has an image of an uh, image of a primate that looks like us, right? What, why he's writing, uh, what is he trying to refer to that? What kind of point he's trying to make? Is it because of the predominance of the insects in the world? Is this why he's referring to that slide? No, he's referring to, to the fact that uh, because, because, Common misunderstanding of global diversity. No, he's referring to that slide because he wants to tell, we look at that particular animal because he looks like us. So our instinctive reaction towards certain types of animals, uh, some of you in the comments you already said it's C, because it says, I use slide which has images, images, but that's why, because it has a passing resemblance to ourselves. It has a passing resemblance to ourselves. That's where the answer comes from. 
we look at that animal because they look like us. There is a passing resemblance. Uh, so that's why he's saying they. Okay, I need to find what they refer to. Can you guys find they? Which line? Okay, if you want to the image with a baby, it cannot appealing. They may be. Well, they here refers to primates, right? They might be appealing, but primates are useless. Lectures about animals, audiences who went, images, cre creatures which appear comparatively similar to humans. Did you guys choose D as well? Right? Appealing, they may be, but they are completely useless. They are fairly useless, right? For the last question, D, did you choose D as well? 438? Exactly. Yes. All right. So we're going to continue again. When I'm going to look at 39, I'm going to look at 39 in the last paragraph and I'm going to do question number 40 when I'm done with every other question. Um, all right. Nothing about food yet. Nothing about food yet. Nothing about food yet. So what about herbivory and uh, carnivory, plant and meat eating? Well, ecology really doesn't get much more basic than this. The light energy from the sun is converted to chemical energy. So imagine sunlight sun ray, and it's turned into chemical energy. The plants, the producers, they carry out the astonishing transformation of fed on by primary consumers, herbivores. They are turn, in turn eaten by the secondary consumers, the carnivores, all right? And, but it may be, it may come as a surprise to many, it may come as a surprise to many, the herds of gazing in uh, cows, goats, and sheep are entirely outmunched perhaps by a factor of one to 10 by myriads of insects. Okay, that's a wonderful sentence in terms of language. Also, we have one answer. Also, we have an answer that's 30. What do you guys think the answer is for 30? Read the question and read that sentence. Is Lola here? She was active yesterday. Is Lola was active and she was doing a good job. Are you here, is Lola? All right. The answer is yes, because some people may be unaware. That means what? She just joined, by the way. Uh, it may come as a surprise to many. That means some people may be unaware. The world's insect consumes more food, right? Um, they are like cows and goats. That's, these are mammals, right? Sheep, these are mammals. They're out munched means insects eat them, eat more food than they, these, these animals do. So the answer is going to be what? The answer is going to be yes. The answer is going to be yes. All right. What about meat eaters? Again, insects consume many times more animal flesh than all vertebrae put together. Uh, and Antelona, the major cons major cons carnivore species in any habitat you could mention. Wow. All right. Um, yeah, interesting fact indeed. If this sounds implausible, if it's something unbelievable to you, consider that over insects are individually small. One insect is very small. There are an awful lot of them. There are many of them. An estimated 10 million million with an impressive large biomass. Okay, what's biomass? Biomass is the total quantity of organisms. Um, insects are also the major food source of countless species. Uh, many trillions of creatures a year are eaten by insect eating species of birds, bats, multitude of other furry and feathery animals. Space prevents me from extolling. Extol, does anyone know extol? Extol means praise. I keep, I can continue you know, praising these insects in the global decomposition and nutrient recycling. Um, oh, but do we have anything about habitat loss and extensive pesticide? Nothing about that, nothing about a lot of every study. Um, but there is a problem looming, looming just appearing, coming, right? All right. Um, do I have anything about habitat loss and extensive pesticide? Did they, did they talk about it? pesticide? There is a plan. The first effect of which I will already feeling. Almost every study, guys, almost every study, which question had almost every study that has been to, done to date, points to steady decline in, in the sec, insect species richness and abundance. Okay, I found the answer. I found the answer. 
So 34, what's the answer for 34? 34 people. The answer is A, right? It is A because here it says almost every study to date, to date means so far, um, that points to steady decline. Decline means fall in the number of, uh, in the number of variety of insects. That means uh, richness. Um, you know, number means abundance. The loss of natural habitat and prodigious amounts of Prodigious, what does prodigious mean, guys? Prodigious, prodigious amounts used in agriculture are taking their toll. Prodigious. Prodigious means a lot. All right, prodigious means a lot. Yes, somebody said huge. Yes, huge amounts. Um, taking their toll, take a toll means negative impact. The decreases seen in well-studied insect groups, well-studied, guys, a lot of research on that means decreases seen in well-studied insects such as bees and butterflies are taking place in many groups as well. All right, we have seen that there have been decreases in the numbers of bees and butterflies. This is happening in other groups too. So that means a lot of research on insect groups has focused on, which is the answer? F, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, the answer is F. Uh, the, the answer is F because all right, so I'm going to put the answer F here. Um, what about question number 31, guys? 31, what's the answer for 31? They did mention habitat loss, but did they tell us we need many years? We did many, we need many years to learn the effects. Okay, you guys, some of you chose the answer not given already from the previous paragraph, but you need to keep in mind, guys, you need to keep in mind that even for not given, there is a like relevant line. Even for not given, there is a relevant line. Because they did mention habitat loss and they did mention extensive pesticide use. Um, now, at what point does the web of life become so frayed and it starts to disintegrate? We may not, we, wow, no, 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 no. We chose the wrong answer. It says we may find out sooner than later. So the answer is, the answer is what? No, right? Because it says um, we may find out sooner than later. It's like the contradiction. It will take a long time for us to learn the effects. So the answer, you see, we were getting ahead of ourselves. So you need to be willing to change your mind. Yes, somebody asked a good question. Yes, they're always in order. They're always in order. Unless you have a very abnormal passage, but all the time they are in order. All right? It is thought that the world's tropical rainforests, tropical forests, hold more than half of the extent species. Do you guys know this word, extent? This word, extent? This is the opposite of extinct. Okay, it's the opposite of the word extinct. Extinct means disappeared, completely died out. Extent means it's alive, existing. All right. Um, if these complex habitats are being felled, felled means... Uh, cut and degraded even at the slowest rate that has been suggested it will so only be a matter of a few hundred years before they are lost um it's therefore an inescapable conclusion that our planet could lose more than half of its all living species in the time it takes a tiny acorn to become veteran oak tree okay that's the answer for 36 guys that's the answer for 36 that's the answer for 36 what do you think the answer is Asad Bek, you need to rethink. Yes, Muhammad Shkur. Yes, Marjalol. Amr Bek, wonderful. Yes, the answer is, the answer is, Zlola is here. Uh, yes, the answer is D. The answer is D because, uh, because here it says, guys, if these complex habitats are being felled, felled means to cut down and degraded even the slowest rate that's been suggested. So the rate has been suggested. Let's assume that's true. Uh, it will only be a matter of a few hundred years before they are lost. It's therefore an inescapable conclusion that our planet could, could lose more than half of its living species in the time it takes. So we're going to lose most of the species. So that means how long it will be the, before the Earth's biodiversity is drastically reduced. Here it says it will be a matter of a few hundred years. That means how long it will be before the Earth's biodiversity is drastically reduced. So the answer is going to be, the answer is going to be D. 
All right. The answer is D. I'm done with these questions. Now I can do the last two questions, guys. Finally. All right. Um, now, here it says, there is no doubt about it. We are the most intelligent, capable species yet to evolve on Earth. We are the smartest, the author is saying. It's a, in a very short time after our appearance, we covered the entire globe, establishing colony, colonies wherever it was possible to survive. Um, a few of us have walked on the surface of the on the surface of the moon, visited deepest abyss. Abyss means depth of the ocean. Uh, we spent vast sums of money to probe to test the very makeup. M makeup means very structure of matter. Remotely examine other parts of solar system. We want to understand the science of everything from the infinitesimally small. Infinitesimally small means very small thing to astronomically large to anything big this truly is big science this is indeed a big science and of course it's expensive but do we have to do it all right now do we have to do all of them right now what about understanding the environment a bit better perhaps we actually need is a bit of a bug science do you remember what a bug is bug is insect science what the author is saying he's done it very cleverly very with flair with panache so with style what does rightly imply about bugs, big science in the final paragraph? He's saying, it should it be? It should not be our priority at the moment. Do you like this answer? Do you like this answer? Yeah, I like answer A. I like answer A because big science should not be our priority. Big science, our priority should be bug science. It serves no useful purpose in the long run. Well, it didn't tell us it's useless. It didn't tell us. It will cost an unreasonable amount in the future. Well, we know it's already expensive but they didn't say it's expensive in the future. Marjalol, it didn't say it's in the future expensive. It's, it's still like expensive. Uh, D, it results from our natural curiosity about the world. Did it say it because of our natural curiosity? No. They didn't say why, what it's because of. They didn't say what it's because of. Well, it should not be our priority at the moment. The answer is A. Why? Because perhaps we actually need is a bit of more bug science. We don't really actually need, if you look at the question, but do we have to do it right now? Like it's asking rhetoric question. We shouldn't do it right now. That's the question. That's the answer. Rhetoric question is a question to which the answer is clear. Do we have to do it right now? What, what about understanding the environment a bit better, right? So the answer is going to be A. So now everyone, we have read, for this one, you need to choose on your own. I'm going to read the answers too. You, you tell me the options in the comments. What point does the writer make about overall? Was it positive? Was it negative? What, what is he saying about insects? All right, the answer is, the answer is what? The answer is B. Insects are more important than many people realize, right? Um, indeed, um, we, might, we might underestimate their importance, but the text is saying they are actually, like if you remember this line, for example, um, where, where, where did it say? Well, space, do you remember that part? Space prevents me from extolling, extolling. Yes, space prevents me from extolling the role of insects. Extol means praising. I, I want to keep praising them. They are so good, uh, but I don't have enough, enough space for that. So that's what, it, what it's saying, C, D, A, B, like making perfect sense balance-wise as well. So if you ask me, that's, that's been a very wonderful passage. Uh, you see, when you are interested in the topic, when you are really enjoying the topic, you're going to find all the answers correct. So that's why your mindset is always, I want to learn about the topic. If you pay attention, most of the time, students who come out of the exam room and they are able to tell uh, the topics, they're able to tell what the topic was about. They're able to tell, oh, you know, passage one was about this man who created this. And they say passage two was about this and that. Um, they usually have done well because their focus was getting the information, learning the information. They were not fixated on the questions. 
questions are secondary, guys. What's important is the passage. You want to truly enjoy the passage. Um, so that's it.